make a living from cooking, you used to be able to have to actually cook the food, but now all you have to do is put people off it. <laughs> Kay's cooking is a literal example of that. I'm just scrolling through a channel now and it just looks like the front page of one of them websites you go to watch people get killed. Gore.com or some shit. Nearly 300,000 subscribers, Jesus Christ. You're gonna see why that's a bit mental in a minute. <laughs> I don't know which one to watch. Uh, it. We'll go for meat and potatoes. I mean, the thumbnail alone looks like she's frying a pile of dog shit, but you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today, where is she filming this? The fucking dentist. Where, where is she? Sounds like someone's getting a root canal in the background. <laughs> it's the green tiles. It just reminds me of somewhere medical. I'm going to be making. Uh, oh, that's great. She didn't even fucking know what we're doing. Stew meat and spud taters. Stew meat and spud taters. That's not f***ing English, is it? Meat stew has been flipped and has now become stew meat. That's what it is now. Stew meat. And potatoes have become spud taters. So if you think about it, that could be absolutely f***ing anything. <laughs> and spud taters. And that is all the ingredients. Fuck me, if that don't prove you don't need anything special to get subscribers, I don't know what does. Like, usually what you do is you cut the part out where you go and shut the camera off, but not Kay. Kay couldn't give two fucks. <laughs> By the looks of it, Kay just films a bunch of shite and puts it next to each other and Bob's your uncle. We've got a video. <laughs> I rate it, to be honest with you. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I stop kicking the camera. So the spud is a cooking. The pepper and the salt... You can't see, but on that... I can literally see them, Kay. They're right there, right in front of my eyes. The plate is garlic and butter. That's milk. And if you're wondering what that poor little thing is up there, that's the meat. I haven't opened it yet. Fucking hell, what are you feeding? A fucking zoo. That looks like a lot of meat, Kay. I'm not going to lie. I bought it, bought it fresh this morning. Uh, slapped it in the fridge. <laughs> and not opened it yet. Right, that's the fry pan. It is on. Number three. Don't know why we needed to know that part. It is on number three. Okay, what the fuck does that mean? Number three, what the fuck's that? Is she forgetting that we all have different stoves? And I'm gonna put two tablespoons of butter in. Did you pre-measure that? Because what I just saw is you just grabbed a slab of fucking butter and threw it on the pan. <laughs> I put some my old recent cooking utensils out. I thought, what's the point in keeping them in a, a carrier bag? Get off, get off, get off of me! <laughs> Kay's speaking to the butter like the butter's gonna fucking listen. Scrape it off with a fork or some shit or on the side of the pan. Yeah, that's plastic, so it'll melt off. And. Fuck me, she's making a meal out of something whilst making a meal. Like, Jesus Christ, just scrape it off, Kay! Scrape it off even better. Fuck me, finally. Jesus Christ, we got there in the end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the meat. I'm putting two. You can use as many. Oh, God, here we fucking go. <laughs> she just spent half an hour figuring out how to get the butter back into the pan. So not even give it time to melt. Just decided to throw an entire fucking animal in the frying pan. Fuck me, that's ridiculous. That time this is got going and frying. It will be, I can tell it will be gra gradually reduced. Care. Listen, right, you seem lovely. You actually do, but what the fuck are you going on about? You've just gone and thrown a portion of meat that you'd give a fucking lion onto a frying pan that you'd use to cook an omelette on or something. By the way, the meat's not seasoned. Like, half the fucking meat's just going to be raw. It's not going to get cooked, is it? What number are we on, Kay? Get a look. Oh, number three. Get on number five. Move that cooking utensil there, we don't want to... So um, all I can do is just let that cook. I mean, staring it might help, so you can do a little bit more than just leaving it. What I'm going to do is, while this meat is still cooking, I'm going to be adding... Salty. Right, so now she seasons the fucking meat. Right, okay, yeah. And I swear down, that better not be how she says salt. Did you catch that? Salty. Salty. She's now just adding more letters to words. To be honest, that's just a new fucking word. Salty. <laughs> For fuck's sake. That's a salty there. And, oh, and a lot of peppery there. 
Pepper. Right, okay. Now you're taking the piss care. Pepper Rivia. What the fuck's that? Pepper. Just say fucking Pepper. Why make it more difficult for yourself? Pepper Rivia. Fuck me. I'm going to mix that all in. You can add uh, the other things that to add was paprika and... I think that was it, paprika. Oh, was that it? Was it? Right, okay. <laughs> That's it, apparently. That's all you can season your meat with. Salt air, pepper rivia, and paprika. And why did she say paprika normally? I thought that would be one of the ones that she fucks up. Not salt or pepper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the garlic now, and it did say two tablespoons of garlic. And as you know, I always get mine. I always buy that lazy garlic. So, yes. This is just all wrong, right? Like, there's just too much fucking meat in the pan. Like, some of it's cooked, some of it's not. Some of it's seasoned, some of it's not. <laughs> it's fucked. Put some gravy manuals in this to make a thicker gravy. Oh, look at that meat. Did you see that meat? It's escaping. Come back. I have got you because you're not partly cooked yet. I don't like how she's speaking to it like it's a pet and not a piece of fucking meat. Tell me what that, but it's what you get out when you just reach and get something. You go, ah, I use that and you don't realise how much meat is in it. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to change it. How is she now just realising she's using too much meat? Have you heard it? She's like, oh, you just don't realise how much you're using until you actually use it. You fucking do. I caught it the moment I saw it. So yes, most of it is all, most of it's done, like I said. Most of it's done. You can't be serious, Kay. Come on. There's no way most of it's done. Half of it's just saw the surface of the pan for the first time. So I'm going to, like I said, leave that for another few. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> leave it for another few what? Sorry. <laughs> leave it for another few. <laughs> Yeah, I'll make sure to leave it for another few of that. Right, I want to see what this fucking ends up like. Right, I've just, I'll just tell you, I've pinched a piece of meat out to see if it would done. Oh my God, it melted in my mouth. Absolutely gorgeous. Here, yeah, trying to outgrow cheek like, fine, I'll tell you. I might have had some. Yeah, it just looks irresistible to be fair. Yeah, I don't think I could help myself as well. Oh God. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some beef gravy granules to give it a bit of flavour because I like, I like thick gravy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why not just make the gravy separate? That, wait, am I the retard here? Is that, that's what you do in it? You make the gravy, then just pour it on at the end, not cook the full fucking thing in it. You can hear it kicking up on, on heat. So I think that might be enough to make it thick-ish. Okay, you need to stop pouring gravy granules directly on the meat. What are you doing? You can see all the meat is now all nicely brown. Lovely colour. Well, yeah, because it's covered in fucking gravy granules. What did you expect? That's like sticking a ginger person in the sun and then just pointing out like the red. So I'm only going to use a batch and probably put a bit on for a bit more. Uh, look at stay at that. You get, if you're lifting meat, oh, what did you expect? She's just having a conversation with herself. She's literally just fucking arguing with herself. So there, you probably didn't see a bloody thing, but there is your end product. Yeah, I mean, it's prison food, isn't it? There's no two ways about it. That's what convicts eat. Fuck me, look at that. It looks so shit. All that messing about for that fucking thing. By the way, my opinion on a shit cooking is not a reflection of what I think of Kay, all right? I like Kay, all right? She's, she's fine. She just can't fucking cook. And this is your end product. I forgot what she looks like, to be fair. It feels like it's been ages since we last saw her face. To be honest, I don't know what I'd rather look at. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. You see, I feel bad for saying that. She's boiled spud taters and stew meat. Stew meat. Okay, we're still going with that? Fam. All right, Kay. Spud taters just taste like spud taters. Yeah, well, you'd fuck it up, sir, wouldn't you? <laughs> okay, you are funny, aren't you? Come here. Mm. Oh, she fucking likes that one, doesn't she? Mm. I'm going to play it again just one more time to make you all feel uncomfortable. Mm.
Any fucking time now, kid. That is beautiful. Yeah, but it takes about 10 minutes to eat. Jesus Christ, by the time you've eaten it, it's probably out of date. Right, kid. <laughs> Just move that camera on time. Well, yeah. <laughs> What? Like, she moved the camera and then was surprised that the camera moved. What did you expect? Not much there. Yes, I didn't show my, me... Uh, oh. Kate, don't panic. You've got this. I did show... Oh. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You've got this. Did not show myself um, peeling the spud taters. And that's what she wanted to say. We don't care, Kate. We believe you. But just get them done. And then they put them in the pan, so that's why I didn't show you me peeling the spud taters. It obviously it hurts my hands as well. It hurts your hands as well. Yeah, Kate, you do realise you're not meant to peel your fucking fingers with the potatoes, right? Spud taters, I should say. So, yeah. Uh, rambling. I'm rambling again. So, yes, um, there's going to be a link in the... the, 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 the told you. Need, need a, another drink of cola. Fuck me, this is the longest outro I've ever seen in my life. There'll be a link in the description to my merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. Well, I'm a bit fast. <laughs> She's fucking great, isn't she? She strung two short sentences together and was impressed with herself. If you want to leave a nice comment uh, and a recipe, please feel free, the more the merry. And if you haven't subscribed, and you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get them subscribing, get into the ribs and tell them to get subscribing. Thank you. Bye. No, Kay, thank you. You know what? I'm actually going to leave a comment. That's some great looking stew meat, Kay. Could have maybe done with some more salty and paprivia. My recipe suggestion is a lobster thermidor served in a heavy cream or bechamel sauce. Don't know that's how you say it. <laughs> with white wine. Nothing too fancy. Keep up the great work. Let's see a brain try and consume all that. She'd fucking kill someone trying to serve someone that, wouldn't she? But I want to see it. It'll be, it'll be interesting. <laughs> I actually enjoyed watching that. If you want to see me watch more of Kay, let me know. If you did enjoy this video, click this playlist here. And yeah, I was going to say I'm going to go and eat some food but after watching that i'm, I'm good <laughs> i'm gonna do what she does i'm not gonna cut this part out <laughs> get into the ribs